Differentiated learning allows students choice in demonstrating their level of learning. It can be challenging to give students that choice, specifically for the instructor to organize and communicate the course assignments to support differentiated learning. Let's take a look at this example for an educational technology class for future teachers, which I call the learner's choice. In this example, the learner's choice activity is assigned over eight weeks of the semester, weeks seven through 14. While learning styles has been debunked, learner's choice was designed around four learner preferences. They are written category A, visual category B, verbal category C, and differentiated learning category D. A side comment on category D, um, as future teachers themselves, students in this class are allowed to choose their choice of educational technology to use to demonstrate their learning. For each type, I have a guided activity. For type A, for the written, I have teaching with technology resources, a written assignment. For visual B, I have a digital flyer assignment. For verbal C, I have a three minute walk and talk or a public service announcement. Both are audio recordings or verbal. And for differentiated learning, category D, I offer the choice challenge for students to choose from. Within each activity, students then focus on demonstrating their learning of that week's topic through the chosen activity. As the instructor, I need four rubrics, one for each activity type, focused on meeting the requirements of the learning activity, but not specific to any particular subject or content. The idea is that by the end of the final week of the learner's choice activity, they would be able to complete each type a maximum of twice. I have structured my Laulima assignments to include eight assignments, which all open in week seven and close in week 14. They are titled, Learner's Choice A1, Learner's Choice A2, Learner's Choice B1, Learner's Choice B2, etc. Depending on which activity type a student has chosen, they will turn it in to the appropriate Laulima assignment. This also prevents them from doing each activity more than twice and helps the instructor to see what work has been turned in and what work is still on the table.